our networks in here are always unpredictable, so they're a little, have no idea what we're going to find. They are slow today. You know, you could help me out if you're on Wi-Fi, if you could just get off. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Uh, we're having a little problem here. I don't know what's wrong with our networks. I'm afraid uh, I have a problem, and I'm not going to be able to show you much here today. I can show you some pictures in the camera roll. Let's just go take a look at some photos here. Take a look at that. Same photos. Pretty different. Again, same photo. See the difference? You can really see it around the eyes, the teeth. So it kind of just comes down to, what do you want to be looking at all day long? So the retina display, three and a half inches, the same size as the iPhone 3GS, yet with 960 by 640 pixels, that's four times more pixels than the iPhone, G iPhone 3GS. 326 pixels per inch, an 800 to 1 contrast ratio, which is, again, four times better than the 3GS. We're using IPS technology. This is a very advanced LCD technology, which is quite a bit, in our opinion, quite a bit better than the OLED technology for these types of products, and uh, provides much more accurate color and much higher resolution. You can't make an OLED display with this type of resolution right now. And so we think the IPS technology is, is really quite superior. And it results in incredibly sharp text, images, and video. Now, again, the retina display has got 78% of the pixels on an iPad right in the palm of your hand. iPhone OS 4 makes it so your apps automatically run on the retina display, full size. But they look even better. Because what we do is iPhone OS automatically renders your text in the higher resolution and all your controls in the higher resolution. So you get that automatically, and your apps look even better without you doing any work. But if you do a little bit of work, and open up the hood of your app and, in, and put in higher resolution artwork, then they will look stunning. So we'd suggest that you do that. <laughs> so that is the retina display. Awesome text, awesome images, and awesome video. We think this is going to set the standard for displays for the next several years. And we don't think anybody's going to come close. And you know, the display is your window into the internet, into your apps, into your media, into your software. We think it's maybe the most important single component of the hardware. And we've got something here now that's like the best window on the planet. So that's the retina display. Third up, the iPhone 4 is powered by the A4 chip. <laughs> Apple's A4 chip. This is a chip designed by our own team. They are really good, and this is wonderful to have in an iPhone. Now, let me show it to you. This is the back of the iPhone. You take the back off. First thing you notice is the iPhone 4 is packed to the gills. There's a tremendous amount of functionality in not such a big space. And so you have to kind of hunt to find the A4 chip, but it's right there. And let me just point out some of the other things. There's the micro SIM. We went to the micro SIM because it's smaller 
we need the space. The radios, the connectors. You can see that the biggest single component in the phone is the battery. We've been able to make the battery a little bit bigger. And so that's where everything is inside the phone. Now, because we've been able to make the battery a little bit bigger and because the A4 is so good with power management, we've been able to improve the battery life as well. So we have four, up to 40% more talk time on 3G from five hours to seven hours now. Six hours of 3G browsing, 10 hours of Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours of video, 40 hours of music, and 300 hours of standby. So we're very pleased with this. Also, our environmental report card is strong. Arsenic free, BFR free, mercury free, PVC free, and stainless steel and glass are highly recyclable materials. So we're doing great there. So the A4 chip, A4 chip, up to 32 gigabytes of storage, quad band HSDPA and HSUPA for 7.2 megabits per second down, 5.8 megabits per second up. That's theoretical because the carriers don't support that yet, but as they do, uh, we'll welcome it. And uh, dual mics for noise cancellation, 802.11n Wi-Fi, and of course GPS plus accelerometer plus compass. So we've got some great hardware in the iPhone 4, in the A4 chip. Number four, we've got another really cool piece of hardware. Remember when we added the accelerometer and how that opened up a whole new vista of gaming? Well, we're taking it even further with the iPhone 4 because we're adding a gyroscope. So, we're adding a three-axis gyro, which is fantastic. Pitch roll and yaw, also rotation around gravity. And we tied the gyro and the accelerometer and even the compass together to provide six-axis six ax motion sensing. And we've got some new core motion APIs that you can call that give you extremely precise position information. And it's perfect for gaming. And one of the reasons it's perfect is because it's built into every iPhone 4, so you know it's there. So what I'd love to do now is give you a demo of this. And since this demo does not require the network, <laughs> I should be OK. So this is, the, uh, this is a little app that we wrote. And this is being run with the accelerometer now. And as you see with the accelerometer, I can tilt it from side to side or backwards and forwards. And, uh, but I can't, it doesn't move when I rotate around gravity. And the positioning is, is good, but not super precise. So now by tapping the word accelerometer, it's going to change to the gyro. And now I get much more precise movement here. And as you see, it rotates around gravity. So let me go ahead. So I'm going to play this game here. And I think I'll take this one off. All right. And maybe I'll take this one out. And I'll take that one out. And this one out. And this one out. Maybe I'll take that one out. <laughs> I practice this a little bit. <laughs> 